this is Tanya from Sarva Yoga. I've done your Leo weekly tarot reading for May 4th to May 10th. And it was really funny because I was drawing four cards, one for money and finances, one for love and relationships, one for home and housing, and one for job and career. And at the second card, the one for love and relationships, it fell out and I wasn't really sure, is that the right card or not? Then I put it back into the whole deck and shuffled again and the same card fell out. So <laughs> it is 100% the right card for this week. <laughs> uh, double confirmation. Um, so let's start with money and finances. We've got the strength card. And this is very good because the strength card is the one that represents Leo, which represents our zodiac sign. Um, and I think it's a very good card to, to show there is strength and stability inside ourselves. We have to, in times of uncertainty, we have to hold on to the strength and stability that we have inside and hold on to the faith inside that there are good things coming and that the universe is helping us. Sometimes when we gotta wait, we get impatient. It's normal for Leos to get impatient and to say, I don't like this. I don't want to sit around at home doing nothing and just waiting. I don't like um, waiting for the outcome and, and how things are turning out. I don't like it not to have control over things, not to be able to plan right because there is nothing going. I mean, everything's closed. There is no flights going. If you were planning to move abroad, then suddenly your plans are on hold and you don't know when it's going to happen or if it's going to happen at all the way you thought. So... Um, but this card is representing that we find our inner strength and we conquer our own fears. Why? Because this maiden here, which is hugging the lion, she came over her basic instinct not to get too close to the lion. And that's why the lion is reacting very friendly. I wouldn't recommend that in Africa though, to walk up to a lion. <laughs> but... <laughs> But on this card, in a very meta, wie sagt man da, metaphorical sense, it's good to overcome your fears, okay? <laughs> Don't walk to a lion in the wild, please. <laughs> it's not gonna end well, <laughs> especially not if the lion's hungry. So um, the strength card is also talking about... Um, getting together two opposing forces in harmony. So it could also speak about a good outcome if there was some form of quarrel or fight or legal issue between two parties, it could talk about a very positive outcome. Um, then for love and relationships, this is the card where we got the double confirmation, the three of pentacles. Now the three of pentacles, for some of you, a few of you, it could mean, it could talk about a third party situation. And a third party situation doesn't necessarily mean that there are two partners in love and one of them is having another side dish. No, it doesn't have to mean that. It can also be something... I mean, it can also be another person. It could be a mother-in-law that interferes. It could be a stepfather, a stepmother. It could also be something non-human. It could, for example, be that two partners are together and one of these two is so engaged in work that he or she doesn't even find the time to be with his or her spouse. So... Um, it can talk about a third party situation, but I feel that it's not for all of you. It's just for a few. For the others, it's talking about good collaboration because you see um, there is this architect who is doing the planning uh, 
in his head and then there is the person the artisan who is materializing that plan so this is a good collaboration this could be this could represent two parts of yourself which are collaborating very good together it could also mean that there is real physical collaboration between you and someone else that you are working on a project with someone else maybe you sit in home office and you guys have a um an online conversation and it's, it's really fruitful. So that's actually a positive card for uh, relationships because this is not only talking about love, right? This is also about work relationship. It doesn't necessarily have to be love yeah, because we have different relationships in, in our lives. Um, so for the home and housing, I got the King of Cups. I seldomly get the King of Cups, really. This, this is like one of the few times that I get him. And the King of Cups is about tolerance, empathy, and about spiritual leadership. So it could be that this is you, or it could be that you found a good spiritual leader, maybe some kind of guru or some kind of book that you read, which is giving you a lot of inspiration. But it could also be that you are the one who's inspiring others yeah, with what you do. And it's about, this is someone who believes in a better future. This is someone who believes this world can be a better place. He's very idealistic and he has a lot of trust and faith that the world is going to look better after we go through certain processes and certain transformations. Yeah? So this is a positive card. He's talking about a spiritual leadership, compassion with the world, um, forgiveness, loyalty. Um, he, if this is about your home, because we got this card for home and housing, right? It could be that you're probably decluttering, refurbishing. You're just taking good care of your home and housing so that everything is going to be better for your own um well, for your own inspiration, for your own creativity, because if our house is cluttered, our creativity is very inhibited and it gets stuck. But if we clear the space and say, okay, I can let go of this, I can let go of that, I haven't used it in, I don't know, the last three years, then we can say, okay, now I feel lighter and now I can start to do new projects. So, um, it might just talk about home improvement, that you do something in the garden. Maybe you you use this lockdown time to just build your little garden fence that you always wanted to build or something. Yeah? Um, it also represents the dawning of a new age and a new universe. And I mean, a lot of spiritual leaders are talking right now that this is actually the, the dawning of a new age and that something better is coming in the future. Um, I don't know who you listen to, but I listen a lot to, to Ralph Smart on YouTube and um, to Mag Magenta Pixie. I, I listen to a lot of people and listen to all of their opinions and all of their ideas and what they share. And I don't necessarily agree with 100% of what they say, but there is always some little thing that I can pick out where I say, well, that was some really inspirational stuff, you know, so... Um, I don't have to necessarily agree with such a guru person 100%. I can just take the good things of his teaching and, and leave the rest which doesn't resonate. Um, then for job and career, we have the death card. Now, don't drop out of your seat just yet. <laughs> it's not so bad as it seems because if you look closely... In the background, you see a door to a golden age, a door to a kind of sunrise. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, that's, that should be better. There is the sunrise. So there is a doorway to something better. So death card is only talking about transformation. And of course, we are in a transformational phase. I mean, we, we all have to learn something new from time to time. And this time right now is teaching us, okay, guys, hmm, Globaliza globalization is nice, but you have to learn to do a little bit more online, maybe with like home office and stuff. <laughs> so we are in a time of transformation and this is the, the confirmation of the transformation. So, um, but it's only a new beginning. So it's not like death and then there comes nothing anymore, but it's death of the old ways and start of the new ways. And the new ways are gonna be better, right? This is what the, the card of 
King of Cups is saying. So we have something to look forward to and we just got to keep our strength and our faith and then everything is going to be fine, okay? Because it's no, it's no use to, to get all panicked up and, and to run around like a chicken without a head, like... <laughs> It's not going to make anything better, right? <laughs> so just try to keep your feet on the ground, get some grounding. Maybe if there is a sunny and warm day outside, you can pull off your socks and shoes and just walk in the, in the grass with your bare feet. Uh, or maybe you live at the beach, then you can maybe do that in the sand. So do something that gives you some grounding and that gets you away from all of that spinning in your head you know the people when they sit at home and they have much time they start spinning in their head what could go wrong and what possible negative outcome could be and all of that spinning in the head doesn't really it doesn't really help us it doesn't really bring us anywhere it's just spinning in a circle and who needs that right better to sit grounding and to think like okay now i have to wait but I will wait and in the end the universe is going to show me what comes out, right? <laughs> there is still time to, to run around like a crazy chicken without a head later. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we have death and rebirth. That's actually really good. Um, there is one tarot reader on, on YouTube which I like a lot. Um, I can't remember her channel's name, but I will uh, put a link to it. Um, on the bottom of this video and she always says to death card this is the cosmic garbage man and i think this is a very nice analogy because she's like he really is he just puts out what is not needed anymore right and and things that have done their job and already are ready to go and yeah this is really a good metaphor and yeah we we should also let go a bit of how the outcome will be because we can't see what is behind that door in the background we can't see what's coming after we can just guess it's going to be something positive and you know we shouldn't cling to exactly how it, the outcome should be i mean leo sometimes have a little bit of control issues we like to know exactly and plan exactly for the future so that everything is planned out and we don't have to fear anything anymore uh, because we have a plan A and a plan B and a plan C and a plan D. <laughs> but um, let's just drop that for a sec and let the universe do its magic. It's going to be fine in the end. And yeah, I think we should just breathe, let go. <laughs> Not too much into, into the whole planning thing because we can't plan now anyway, right? I mean... Who knows when all of these measures from the state are going to be changed and, and when everything will, uh, yeah, when everything will be, be in a new, its new track. Because we are moving from the old track and we're going through some kind of uncertainty and then we're going to be on a new track. And it's not yet time to be on the new track, so we just have to wait it out and not be too crazy about what this track should look like, <laughs> in our opinion. So uh, release what no longer serves you. This is also talking about the decluttering process. And um, yeah, I think that's actually very good because yeah, actually all the four cards are really, really positive for next week. And now I'm gonna do um, a small card with a little affirmation. So let's see. Angel Spirits Guides, what is important for Leos to know? Hoppala. These are too many. I just need a few. <laughs> oh my God. Where, where do you go? Oh, you fall to the floor. So let's try again. And please, this time, just one card. Just one card. I don't need them. Okay, this is good. So we got this gift of my life will not be wasted. I will realize my potential. So that's a very nice card. And I think we should really take into account that the, the potential was already shown here. Yeah, this is our potential. As Leos, we have a lot of strength. We can overcome a lot. Yeah, and we always find a way out because we are very creative. We're very flexible if you want to. Yeah, we can be. <laughs> so I think that's a very good affirmation. And now let's ask the Angel Tarot deck if there is any more information that we need. Let's see. 
angel spirits guides please let me know what is important for the use at this time for next week which is may 4th to 10th what is important for next week for Leos to know? Is there any message you got for us? Please just give us one card or two, not too many. Thank you, spirits, guides. Angel spirits, guides, what's important to know for Leos? The three of Michael. Release the past, you will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. Now, I think that fits very, very well to the death card because it tells us that even though some things have ended, it doesn't mean that it's the end of our entire story. It's just the end of one thing in our story. And we don't necessarily have to see this as the end of all things. It's not. It's actually the beginning. So let the universe bring you something new. And in the meantime, in the pause, please just have patience and faith. Because something better is definitely coming. Yeah. So this angel is, is holding a crying woman in, in his arms. But in the, in the back you see a white dove. So I think that represents hope a lot. And I really like that. So I hope this reading helped. And I wish you a great week ahead. I like you guys really a lot. You are the reason why I do the whole thing, right? <laughs> and um, if you want to, please like, subscribe, leave me a comment. And you can also find me on other channels like Instagram and Twitter. Thank you. Goodbye.